Hello, I am Freddy of the Carolina Retro Gamers, and do you know what today is? Why it's Back to the Future Day. Yes, it's October 21st, 2015, the day when Marty McFly arrives in the future, but now it's the present. So, with that being said, I decided to play this game, but while I play this game, I'll share my experiences with um, the Back to the Future trilogy. So, when I was young, I used to watch this Back to the Future movie a lot. It was like a pastime for me. I used to love referencing Biff, talking like him. <laughs> Until it got, you know, old and stale. But I still watched it. I liked the concept of traveling through time, um, going to the past or future to see what the future is like. So that's what intrigued me to it. And future, well, not nah, to say future or now the present <laughs> is decent I don't have any complaints I still want my hoverboard but allow me to talk about um what the movie and what we got um no we didn't get 19 Jaws movies but we did get 3D movies um we did however get we, are, we might see the Cubs in the World Series this year. One can only hope. Should have been the Yankees, but I digress. Um, let me see what else. Oh, we don't have any flying cars. Or they might be hidden away in Area 51. Um, we did, Nike today did release the self-tying sneakers. So, that's cool. But you know, other than that, you know, the world's not destroyed. I mean, we have wars and whatnot, but oh, we didn't have. S I don't think we have hy hydrated food. <laughs> we do have. Um, I know we do have multiple um, TV channels. Like one person can turn on his TV and request um, to turn on multiple TVs. However, it's only like, you know, pertaining to one subject, like the news or sports, um, direct TV. <laughs> but now let's talk about, you know, Back to the Future series. The first one, I did like, you know, Marty went back, accidentally went back in time in 1955, but it's around the time where his mother falls in love with his dad dad but instead of um his mother falling in love with his dad Marty pretty much she falls in love with Marty and she tries Marty tries to play matchmaker kind of awkward but Marty does get them to fall in love at the special dance however um his father does make some changes and he confronts the bully Biff. After that's done, Doc, Doc decides to go in the future, which sets up for the second movie. Now the second movie kind of introduces the, the negative aspect of time traveling. If you interfere with the timeline, line, there are consequences. Um, in the first movie, you see some of the positive um, happenings of it. If um, Marty didn't teach George, George McFly how to be confident, people would walk over him. But George McFly is confident and he stands up to people. But in two, Marty takes takes home a sports almanac revealing results of certain games, races, and all that. However, that fell into the wrong hands, and you meet your protagonist, Biff. I mean, antagonist, Biff. 
where he uses it to get rich and he takes over Hill Valley with po politically and it led to nasty effects um, Marty being sent off to Switzerland Doc Brown getting committed um, his sister becoming an escort and his brother I believe becoming a crackhead um, here's a little interesting fact and you can just this is on Back to the Future Wikia. Um, when Old Biff comes back from giving Young Biff his uh, the Sports Almanac, what they show you is Old Biff um, having a heart attack. What is not ha what they don't tell you is he's being erased from existence because he went the timeline and altered his own um, past. Um, but in the alternate timeline, Biff eventually gets shot because he's corrupt, corrupt, and married to um Marty's mother, Lorraine McFly. She winds up shooting him, shooting him. But in the alternate 1985, Biff um kept Nixon in office for a very long time. There was no, I believe, 22nd Amendment where you're limited to two terms. So Nixon was like pretty much president <laughs> up until 1985 area. So, so it, so yeah. Back to the Future Three. Um, at the end of two, you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning, sending Doc to 1985, 1885, where he's happy. However, Marty sees his grave, so he decides to go back one more time and. Change, change the past to save his friend's life. So he does that, but he learn he learns a lesson because in two he gets riled up if you call him a chicken. But in night three, someone called him a coward, and it almost got him killed. If not for his quick thinking, thinking. But I do highly recommend um the trilogy. Two is one of my favorites because of the future and all that tech. But they're all good movies in their own way. Three you have a bit of a west you know, western type feel to it. And then, you know, at the end of three, um you see M Marty's rival or bully type knows how to push his buttons, tries to race him. But since he learned his lesson from his time in the Old West, he doesn't fall for it. Because it does, you know, it erases the future that he went. It, by, I'll say this, by, in at the end of three, Marty erased the future that he went to or altered it. But we never know what future is that but we do have a hint of what the alternate 2015 is um, we have an alternate we have, we've seen the um, 2015 to where they went to but we never seen the 2015 15 to where Marty didn't um, fall for needles as trick just just saying <laughs> And I know I've been rambling on about, you know, what's going on in the movies. Did you know that there was a Back to the Future cartoon show? It was short-lived. I know it's on sale right now at Walmart. Um, I, you know, don't know why I passed it up, but, you know, it's out there. And I don't know Back to the Future Day. <laughs> But then they also released um, some games, um, one for the NES, um, two and three in one game for the um, NES, and then you have the Genesis version, which I've seen videos of the Genesis version, which is pretty much superior, but it is hard as hell. Now I'm talking like Contra hard. 
but I digress. And then they released an updated version of it for um, Xbox 360 slash PlayStation. Um, but anyway, this is Freddy of the Carolina Retro Gamers. Thank you for listening to me and enjoy.